Do you ever struggle with overthinking, get confused? Is this my intuition or anxiety? Are you ready to simplify your life and move with confidence, moving out of black and white thinking and fighting against life and into flow? Well, I'm here to help you. Today, I'm going to teach you three tools to become an intuitive badass. Hi, I'm Sonia Telly. I'm a fourth generation intuitive Hay House author and have been teaching people how to get in touch with their intuition for over the past decade professionally. But this has been my whole life. And I am so excited to share some really simple tools with you to help move you out of fighting against life or yourself and really starting to flow with it. So I'm going to teach you three simple tools today. One, how to differentiate anxiety and intuition. Two, how to develop a relationship back to your spirit. Your spirit is the voice of your intuition, so your deeper self. And three, how to reconnect with your body as a way to really be able to trust your intuitive guidance. So if you're new here, hi, welcome. And if you are returning, nice to see you again. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe so that you can be tuned in because I release new videos every single week. So the first thing that let's talk about is what is intuition? Intuition is the act of deep listening. And instead of listening to words, we're listening to vibration. Just like bats have sonar, radar and whales have sonar, we are also inherently vibrational beings. And we have two different ways that we receive information. One, through our intellect, that's our head. That's like I'm reading a piece of paper and I'm acquiring information. And two, vibrationally, that's when you walk into a room and you feel like the vibe is off or when you feel something that doesn't necessarily make logical sense, but registers and resonates in your body. The biggest thing that I find having grown up in this world and that I see again and again with my clients is that we haven't been mirrored or really given tools or support around our intuition. We live in a world that loves information. We are information overload. I mean, just think about that last time you tried to go to a restaurant and how many times you went through Yelp or Google reviews or asked everybody else to try and figure out what is the right answer and how that actually, instead of making the decision simpler, made it more complicated. And that is what I find again and again, we get into information overload. And that's why we get caught up in overthinking and that's where we get disconnected from our intuition. Like I said, our intuition is the voice of our spirit. And for me, how I think of your spirit is your innate divine consciousness. Because you are not your job, you are not your personality, you are not even the things that you like, you are divine. And any time that we can start to get underneath that chatter, we can start to connect. That's where we can feel and be the here in the present moment. That's where we can get our guidance and become flexible. And so in order to start to become an intuitive badass, which means really that I trust myself, that I trust the moment, and that I don't look to other people to validate what I know is true, is that first is that we even have to recognize that we are not our job, our personality, but that we are spirit. And a really beautiful, very simple, easy way to do this is place one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly and take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale like you're exhaling 10 birthday candles. And I'm going to invite you to do that two or three times. And each time, just imagine with each exhale that you're blowing out all of the voices of everybody else, all of that information and creating a little bit of sacred space. And I'm going to invite you to notice right now with that hand on your heart and your hand on your belly, notice how the quiet starts, the chatter starts to quiet and we can become more present to that innate divine spark that feels different than our heads and our intellect. That is your spirit. And it lives here in our bodies. So the very first tool that I'm sharing with you in order to become an intuitive badass is first start to recognize 
your innate divine self by creating a little bit of sacred space, anchoring in that, that drops below that chatter so we can start to feel the vibration. We can start to feel that little rotisserie chicken, that little spit, that little talking, quiets. And we start to quiet. And that is where we can listen. And what we're listening for isn't information, isn't the right thing to do. But what we're listening for is our intuition. Because the thing about intuition is that our, it's not going to overpower our mind. So it's up to us to be able to create a little bit of sacred space to listen. And this is a very simple but incredibly powerful tool. And if you use this tool every day for 30 days, your life will change 100%. So in our first tool of being able to start to quiet that overthinking, use this tool. Because it will quiet that chatter and be, make you more sensitive to yourself. You know, uh, and a really, another brilliant thing, if you haven't already, down below is my, if you haven't already, get my intuitive spiritual toolkit. It has a guided meditation and a really wonderful workbook that'll help you with lots of tools and exercises. But this tool, you know, like I said, I've been mentoring for over 10 years. And I had this one client, Emily, and Emily was very much a doer. Constantly, constantly, constantly going, constantly going. And she'd always say, I'm not sure if it's my intuition or my anxiety, and this place, this push and pull causes me to overthink, and then I don't even know what is what. So instead of having more information, because we can read all the books, we can have all these tools, but until we have an experience, it just becomes more blah, blah, blah. So I gave her this simple tool. Hand on her heart, hand on her belly. Every single day for 30 days. I said, no matter what, this is your divine appointment with yourself. And because Emily's a good student, <laughs> she did it. And over the course of our mentoring, her relationship with her spirit and her ability to hear, not information, but vibration blossom. And with that, all of a sudden, she was like, I recognize not only how intuitive I am, but how much more sensitive I have to be to myself. Because in our world, everything is so busy. And that is also why I really created my course, How to Be an Intuitive Badass. Because it's really important that we have grounded practical tools in order to be able to move from information to experience. And so tool number one, hand on your heart, hand on your belly. Tool number two that we're talking about is really about recognizing that intuition resides in our bodies. It's not a mental thought, like I'm talking about, it's vibration. And if we're disconnected from here, this is your house, this is where your spirit lives, then you're not gonna be sensitive or aware of any intuition that comes in whatsoever. Our lives are so busy, we're constantly on our phones, on our computers, and constantly doing, we love to do. And because of that, we get disconnected from our intuitive voice, from that sensitivity, because, you know, intellect, our heads talk, intuition listens. And how it does it, how it communicates to us is in whispers, in tiny little bitty, itty bitty pieces little nudges, signs, symbols, omens, things, not big deals. It's not Elvis Presley walking down the street. <laughs> so, gives you my tool number two. Same hand on your heart, hand on your belly. In order to become making that tool, that a, a practice of being in your body. And that means moving, moving every single day. Whether that's five minutes of dance, whether that's going for a walk around the block, but leaving your phone, your different things, so you become sensitive to your container. This is vital to becoming and moving out of overthinking, perfectionism, you know, wondering what's right, into what resonates as true. And you're only gonna be able to do that if you're here, home number one. And that same Emily, that whole thing, hand on her heart, hand on her belly, even there was becoming more sensitive to her body, which created a huge shift. And she can listen, oh, okay, that is vibration. I can feel it, that it resonates as true. And last but not least, the last tool I'm gonna share with you today is your daily divine appointment. The thing about if you wanna be intuitive, if you wanna be guided, if you really wanna live a spiritual life, we have to recognize that it doesn't take a lot our heads like to make it so complicated. 30 minutes of meditation and yoga and X, Y, Z and all these different things, but they become to-do lists. They're not centered in our feeling body. 
but when we can do one teeny tiny itty bitty little thing every single day and make it a promise to yourself. That is how we create change. That is how you become an intuitive badass. That's how you move from overthinking into feeling, into presence and into your own personal power. And so, you know, that is why I created my How to Be an Intuitive Badass course. It's 10 video modules with a workbook and grounded tools to help you move from an intellectual experience to a felt experience. Because when you live connected to your spirit and to your intuition, life becomes simpler. It doesn't become about right, wrong, good, nothing, all bad. It becomes about what resonates and where I can trust myself, my power. I can trust the moment and I can trust the universe. And that is such a big shift because you're not alone. And that's what our head likes to say. You're all by myself and you have to figure it all out. And from that place, we get tight ugh, and we get exhausted. You don't have to try harder. You get to try less hard. That's the beauty of really becoming an intuitive about us. You plug back into yourself because it's not about out here, but about listening in here. And that's why, you know, having grown up in a, a spiritual household with an international best-selling mom, teacher, author, and having this be in my DNA and blood, it is my mission to help give you grounded tools to connect to your intuition and trust it, like really, really trust it, not have it be a flicker fly by. Because when you can do that, that's when you can share your gift, your presence, yourself, your creativity, your power, your joy with the world. And that's where we can create healing in the world because we need your light. And you know, just because I am so love my this course, I am offering it for a 27% discount with my other workshop, how to, ma how to Master Most Common Roadblocks to Manifestation that I'm sharing up for the next few days. So click the link below and sign up. You will not regret it. it. Comes with meditations, mantras, it comes with videos and a lot of help. And so even there, I cannot wait to hear from you. Hit, tell me, what do you think? Do you use these tools? How often do you trust your intuition? And don't forget, hit like and subscribe because every single week I share videos with you on how to better connect that are really powerful and transformative because like I said, this is my mission. So tell me what you think. Leave me an emoji. Leave me a comment. I cannot wait. I'm sending you all my love. Bye.